the breaking news, new court documents just released revealing that an indicted informant admitted to the FBI that he got dirt about Hunter Biden from Russian intelligence officials. Joining us now, the former National Security Council official, retired Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. Colonel Vindman, thanks so much for joining us. What's your reaction to this filing uh, that uh, this FBI informant, uh, a guy by the name of Alexander Smirnov, was fed fake dirt on the Bidens by Russian intelligence? And how does this fit into the pattern of how Russia actually operates? You know, we use the term bombshell uh, pretty often, but I think this is some bombshell reporting. The reason is that it clarifies certain certain uh, facets of Russia's influence operation to interfere in elections almost a decade back, 2016, 2020, and 2024. Uh, it certainly shows their tradecraft in using witting agents. Uh, Smirnov is under arrest because he's assessed to be a witting agent, uh, more than likely. And uh, the fact that I think from an intelligence perspective, from the Russian perspective, they see a large number of Republican political leaders as unwitting agents uh, carrying forward Russian disinformation. So that's a pretty interesting picture that it paints of how the Russians are interfering, co-opting the Republican Party uh, to do their bidding to um, tip the scales in, in Trump's favor. The other thing that's really interesting is it may clarify some of Trump's in, uh, uh, intentions why he is catered so hard towards Russia, why he invited just, you know, within the past two weeks, he invited Russia to attack a NATO member, a grave danger for U.S. troops, a grave danger for U.S. troops. Why? Because he's looking for that quid pro quo that he's been searching for, for, for uh, from 2016 forward, whether it's emails, whether it's solicitations to Russia to share intelligence, to deliver uh, some some sort of information on corruption. Uh, that is why he's probably working so, um, you know, he's leaning so far into engaging with Russia because he's looking for any and every means to win uh, the 2020 elections and tip the scales in his favor. I witnessed it when I was in the White House and reported uh, presidential corruption. It carries through to 2024. Very, very dangerous. I remember, Colonel, when you testified in the then President uh, Trump's first impeachment hearing where he was accused of pressuring Ukraine to investigate the Biden's business ties uh, over there in Ukraine. How does that inform you now, now that you view this latest development? Well, so those were Ru Russian, ag uh, Russian agents back then also. These, these were Russian agents um, feeding dirt on uh, this corruption, uh, this so-called corruption scheme with Burisma, which frankly, nobody's found any credible uh, re uh, reporting indicating that um, President Biden was in any way involved. Certainly, there's no dispute that Hunter Biden was on the board receiving uh, money, but there's no implication of, of uh, President Biden being involved in this. But uh, these were Russian agents back then. These have been Russian agents, uh, Russian officers running Russian agents all the way through to this day. And it is a really uh, deeply disturbing that swaths of the Republican political elite have been co-opted to carry forward Russian influence operations to interfere in U.S. elections. Uh, that I think the Republicans, unfortunately, are not likely to change their tune. They'll say that it's uh, interference, that the FBI now is you know, looking to spoil the, that uh, impeachment inquiry. I don't think they're going to go, uh, they're going to um, adjust their narrative, but it's deeply dangerous and the American public needs to know uh, what is going on and how Russia is interfering with the help of the Republican Party and Donald Trump. This uh, U.S. filing uh, against Smirnov also says Smirnov's contacts were extensive, recent, and not trivial. And I'm quoting now, the false information he provided was not trivial. It targeted the presumptive nominee of one of the two major political parties in the United States. The effects of Smirnov's false statements and fabricated information continue to be felt to this day. Colonel, do you think uh, the U.S is taking this threat of Russian interference in the 2024 presidential election seriously enough? I think the Biden administration is, uh, to a certain extent, the Trump uh, administration also, at the professional level, looked to harden our elections to make sure that they weren't uh, subject to cyber attacks. But influence operations are a different, a, a different animal entirely. Uh, really, it's about um, inserting messages uh, finding uh, receptive audiences and sowing uh, chaos, disinformation, uh, casting both 
candidates as corrupt. So uh, it it's definitely clarifies the point um, on what the what the Russians are doing. What's a little bit disturbing, frankly, is that um, sources go through annual vetting uh, and uh, they get repeatedly assessed for uh, how effective they are, how credible they are. And for somebody like this individual to to be assessed as credible, continue to provide a reporting. Um, there, I think there's something that fell through the cracks in terms of screening, and uh, this this should have never happened. And certainly, Congress should have been warned about the fact that they were communicating with a witting agent of uh, the Russian intelligence services.